Washington, uh, even though we still have to clinch the next week. But that game, uh, I think, was just a culmination of the season coming together, how we won, uh, you know, the fans rushing the field. I've never experienced it. I don't think any of our players have experienced it. So that was like the very, very special moment of that 2001, something that sticks out in my mind that, you know, really made me feel like, we did it. We made it. We're, this is big time college football. You know what I mean? So that was a special moment after the Clemson win. Viner Forgates makes your company work. We make your company work with hybrid solutions from Microsoft and Nextiva. <laughs> And how often do you think back on your Maryland years? All the time. It's hard not to. You know, it's hard not to. Um, you know, I might have some footballs laying around or <laughs> see a jersey. And especially now that we switched to the Big Ten, I've seen a lot of Maryland uh, games with the Big Ten channel in Minnesota. So I got to see a lot of old school, old time games. Uh, games when I played, games when, when Aaron played, so from any generation I was always able to see some turf football, so I think about turf football all the time. EJ, when Coach Fridgen came, how did the culture change uh, around the team? What what was the magic potion he had? Uh, I'm not sure about a magic potion, uh, but what he did bring was a standard that he was not going to allow us to dip below. And his way of, of uh, passing that standard down to us was basically just hard work. Hard work, grind, keep your nose down, don't say too much. Um, this is what we're going to do. And, you know, I said this before, at first, we didn't, I don't think that we took to that, to that type of uh, attitude. We thought, okay, here comes another coaching staff, he's overdoing it, he's doing too much. Uh, but then as seniors, I think we kind of accepted the process and said, okay, I, this can, this might be able to get us to the next level. Because I knew about Coach Friesen's history, how many points he could put up on offense, um, the type of coach he was, knew he was a former Terp. So I think all that played a role in, in the culture change. You know, he brought more than just hard work. He brought the pride in being a Terp, you know, because he is a Terp. So uh, between the hard work, motivation, being a Terp, and then the winning attitude. You know, it's always about winning. You know, when it comes down to it, we want to win the game. You know what I mean? So we can have as many great practices or whatever, but we want to win the game. And that, that ultimately became our focus. You know, we figured out how to win instead of losing, you know, losing on our own, finding a way to beat ourselves. In the pregame show, they run on the scoreboard now. They have a background audio of Friedgen in the locker room being a motivational guy. And from just being on the field with the band before the players run out, it gives you chills. Did it have that effect on you guys? Was that safe for game day, or was he like that every day? Well, Coach Friesen always definitely uh, practice. I would say more. He had the edge at practice, unless it was something going on that he needed to address within the meeting. Then you could see his temperature raise up and his his blood start to boil. But his his strength and his his uh, his personality really came out at practice. Really on game day, uh, that's when you see him. That's when you see him at his best. So, uh, Coach Friesen was all, always a, you know, a good coach. But it was always football based, baby. Let's let's get this done. We're gonna have to work right here. I might give you off this day, but remember we trying to win. You know. So I think he just brought that winning culture, that attitude that we needed uh, to Maryland. Jumped in late. Uh, from what you've been able to see from what Mike Loxley has done in his time as head coach, what gives you confidence that uh, the program's on the right track and they're making the right progress? Well, I've known Coach Loxley for a long time. Since I was a, I think it was maybe a sophomore, junior. And he's always been uh, not only a personable coach, uh, he knows his X and O's, we all know that, but he's always been a, a motivational coach. He was, always, he was a motivational coach for me, and he was the running backs coach. So we would even have little side conversations. He's like, yo, what's up? Are you good? You think you're heavy right now? Why are you not playing this way? Or are you injured? So Coach Loxley always knew was like that personable type of coach that can, um, you know, relate to all the other players. Um, but uh, we all know one of his strong points is recruiting, right? So the year that we had our success in 2001, that summer, that recruiting class that he brought in, I think that he was in charge of, that, you know, Bruce, Jafar, the Philly guys, um, some of the other, some of the other young cats, uh, maybe James Lynch was a freshman. 
DC, but he brought in a lot of young, a lot of, a lot of guys. So those are his strengths, um, and I think that will continue to push us to the next level where we need to be to be eventually at the top of this division in the Big Ten. What does it mean to come back for your 20th uh, anniversary of the 2001 championship season? And can you believe you're 20 years removed from college? <laughs> Um, yes, I can remove. I, I can believe that I'm 20 years removed. It's good to see the guys. Everybody still look the same, still look young. Um, you know, we still got the same love for each other. It's like we, you know, just left the, you know, just left the, the, the Orange Bowl. You know, everybody has a good feeling in the air. It was electric then. It felt electric today. Yesterday we had a, a get together dinner and everybody got to see each other, see each other's family. So that's always special, man. So 20 years, 25 years, 30 years down the line, I think this whole team and the coaches and the people that got a chance to experience it will always be willing to come back and, and celebrate again. With your 20 years of experience, uh, what advice would you give to the players who are currently playing? Uh, one of the biggest things is, uh, you know, the fun comes with winning. Uh, but before you can win, you got to put that work in. So as long as you keep that hard work uh, as your foundation, that you're willing to put the time, energy, and effort in, to try to get better and you focus on improving, then you got a shot. You know, the next thing is to really expect to win. Expect that you can come out there and play with anybody that you line up against. And your work prior to the game should give you that confidence. And I, like I said before, Coach Region gave us that confidence. Like we knew how many, I knew personally how many points he used to put up at Georgia Tech. So once those guys, I, I think, start to get the confidence, you know, get used to playing these big, big 10 stadiums, make that acclimation that we'll be fighting for for Big Ten division title, you know? When you were going through that winning season and then the basketball team wins the national championship and then you go back to the same building and win the Peach Bowl, did you realize what a special time that was in the moment? Nah, maybe not at the moment, but I would say that the campus was, uh, you know, the campus was really, you know, electric that year. Um, practices were hard. Obviously, Coach had us going hard. But it was a little, it was a little more fun because we were winning. Um, training table food tasted a little better. <laughs> Study hall wasn't as hard, you know what I mean? Um, then you had the basketball team, so it was like I can remember like when they won it. It was just like the first time everybody was together. You know, it wasn't like okay, basketball is this dominant team, and football is the little stepbrother. It was like finally we're all together on campus. We're all winning. Um, so I know anybody who experienced that who was here for that for that year. Um, they'll tell you that was probably one of the best experiences in their college career. Coach Did you? Buckley and the Maryland players talk about how important it is to have former players coming back. Uh, what does it mean to you as an alumni to be invited back to spend time with this team? Yeah, man, I always appreciate it when they reach out to me. Um, Kevin Glover, Coach Loxley texts me personally all the time. Um, so I just feel, I feel appreciated, you know, to be able to come back, for them to ask me to come back to even speak or be recognized, uh, you know, I came to the first two games just to bring my girls to the game and have the experience. So it's always special to, to, to come back. I'm always willing to mentor. I'm, now that I'm back in the area, hopefully I can make some practices and have some personal relationships with some of the guys, defensive players, linebackers, whoever needs some assistance. So I hope I can be more of a mainstay with the program, you know, not just pop up here and there, but, but somebody that the guys can depend on, you know, if they need to talk about it, talk about whatever. College Football Hall of Fame is a big deal, obviously. Did you expect to reach the levels personally that you achieved when you got here, such a dominant player? Uh, no, not as a freshman, definitely not. Um, you know, going through high school, we were, me and my friends, but our goal was to, you know, get a Division One scholarship. Everybody used to talk about D1, D1, D1. You know, I played basketball for a long time, coming from the uh, Aberdeen, the Baltimore area, basketball is real big, um, but eventually, you know, we realized football was, was my path, you know? So, repeat your question, I'm sorry. I forgot well, that did you expect to reach the levels that you reached personally as becoming such a dominant player when you okay. came to Maryland? Yeah. No, I did not as we started. But as I progressed and like going into our junior year, when I was like really kind of playing against my peers, I felt like I could be dominant. So yes, after those first three or four games, I felt like I could be dominant. Now did an ACC championship and player of the year and defense player of the year and every other accolade come in my mind? No, not at all. I just knew I could be a, a good linebacker um, in the ACC. After seeing the Jones Hill team, how do you wish you had another year of eligibility for so you could take advantage of? For sure, just to, just to walk around here and, and check it out, you know, get some good meals and 
Toilet facilities. Oh, do they have a pool? A hot tub? So they've got they've got a barber shop too. Not that you need. Oh, just come in and get shaved. You know, <laughs> shave, you know. So I would love to be back. And that's what I'm saying. I'll come back more just to be around the facility. You know what I mean? Just to enjoy it. You know, the fruits of everybody's labor. You know. Good.